Hello and welcome to Mac News for Monday, the 6th of February. Thanks for joining us today and spending a few minutes here are the items we're going to cover in today's video. Please make sure to share the video with members of your scouting family and those that are interested in knowing what's going on here in the Mid-America Council. Chris, I am sorry to interrupt, but we have breaking news that I need to make sure that our listeners know about. We were just informed this morning that there is currently an issue with Scoutbook emails. That domain has been blacklisted by a number of email providers, uh, which means emails are not being delivered. Those domains that we know about affected are Comcast, all Apple domains, and all Microsoft domains, including Hotmail, Outlook, and MSN. National BSA is working on this issue, uh, but there is no timeline for it being resolved. So for the time being, we want to make sure that you do not rely just on Scoutbook and communicating out to your uh, scouting families. Make sure you are also downloading uh, the, the emails and sending out communication directly from you. We apologize for this inconvenience, but again, wanted to make sure you know about this issue uh, with us just learning about it this morning. As soon as we have more information, we will send out an email to let you know that it has been resolved. Thank you for letting me interrupt, Chris, and now back to our regularly scheduled programming. First up today, it is time to get registered for camp if you haven't already done so. There are some early bird discounts that are on the horizon. Check the description below for a link to the registration websites for Camp Amicaro and Camp Cedars, and make sure that you take advantage of those early bird discounts. If you're a Cub Scout pack and you're still wondering how you're gonna run your Pinewood Derby, there's an option for you to come and run it here at the Durham Scout Service Center on Saturdays or Sundays. Check out the description below for a link to the registration so you can see what's available and come and run your Pinewood Derby here and get to experience a uh, six lane track with a digital timer and there's a zoom option too for your families to watch that can't be here in person. A couple of reminders from last week. Please make sure to sign up for Scouting for Food. We're gonna do things a little bit differently this year. Um, we're working on a great incentive for youth that are going to participate instead of just a patch. It's gonna be something that they can use all year long, which I'm excited about. Thanks to United Way of the Midlands for partnering with us on Scouting for Food. So make sure you get signed up now and tell us what neighborhoods you're going to cover so we can make sure that we canvas those neighborhoods with social media as well. We geofence those and Camp cards, they were due, orders were due last Thursday. One final push, if you would like your unit to sell camp cards, please check out the description below. Get those orders in ASAP because we need to get those cards ordered. For more than a decade, scouting has struggled with school access here in the Midlands for a number of reasons. Last year we tried passing legislation, Bill 1170, and for various reasons it did not get passed during a short session, but we really have a great opportunity thanks to Senator Brad Von Giller who introduced legislation again. It's LB805. We need your help to tell your state senator that you would like for them to support this bill. It doesn't just allow school access for scouting groups, but for Boys and Girls Club, for the Big Brothers, Big Sisters, for Little League Baseball, any Title 36 uh, national registered organization would have the ability to have school access. We need your help with this. Check out the description below for a list of state senators. And if you would send a note and have your support registered on the website for the legislation, we would greatly appreciate that. Calling on all of the Kiki Hakukut Lodge members, if you have not paid your OA dues, now is the time to do so. Please check out the description below and find the link to pay your OA dues online, or your local troop can send a check here to the Durham Scout Center and we will get those taken care of for you. One last reminder that our scout shops are here to serve you, and if you're running low on time to pick up awards for your upcoming blue and gold banquet or for your court of honor for this spring, let us help you. That's what we're here to do. Send us an email with your order on it to mac at scouting.org or to the Gosh Shock or Sioux City Scout Shops, and we'll have those orders pulled for you. And if you need us to mail them, we can tell you how much the postage is. We'll box them up and be happy to mail those items to you. If there's another way we can serve you through our scout shops, please let us know at mac 
at scouting.org. In closing today, don't forget to tag the Mid-America Council in your social media posts and that we have a birthday this week. So this is a great opportunity for your local scouting units to take a picture and wish the National Organization of the Boy Scouts of America a very happy 113th birthday. That's on February the 8th, so make sure to tag us in those photos. Also, big shout out to Pack 15 for tagging us in your photos of Scout Sunday from this pack past weekend. Thanks for participating in Scout Sunday and thanks for being visible in your charter partner. And a big shout out to PAC 461 for tagging us in your photos from your camp out at the Henry Dorley Zoo. That's an awesome experience and more units should go and participate in that. Scouting volunteers, thanks for what you do to make scouting possible each and every day here in the Mid-America Council. Hope to see you along the scouting trail.